anyway, tonight we are over in Italy and sadly for me, this is the second year that I will only be in Italy virtually and not in reality, uh, which is very, very, very difficult for me as I love Italy dearly. Um, we, are, we are going to visit Bergamo. We have Mario Bonicelli and we have Mauro Crescini with us, um, who we've had on before. Um, those of you who are frequent flyers will have heard them speak before. Uh, we've done a sort of general talk about Bergamo and what happens there every year. But I, just to remind you, um, and some of you may not have, have caught this before. Um, Bergamo is the most beautiful uh, city about 45 kilometers north west, northeast of Milan um, and every September there's the most fantastic festival uh, with events happening throughout the month of September that culminate in a seminar or a seminar um, a, a conference at the end of the month um, in September usually the third week of September and of course up until last year this happened every year and we all flocked to Bergamo and we all uh, met our friends and had a good time uh, but last year of course you know we all know what happened and so th there was a conference online this year it's going to be a little bit live and, and a little bit online so you know it is it is exciting and we're going to talk about that tonight and and how it's happening so technically last year would have been the 10th year so sort of technically this year would be the 11th year. However, we're kind of sort of in the 10th year anniversary, I think. But, you know, anyway. Um, and so um, in the chat box, I have put the uh, website for um, for the event, for the for the conference and for the whole of the event. Um, the the organization that uh, run this is called Archetypos. They are a committee of people. Um, the actual um, structure of the event is called I Maestri del Paisaggio, so the masters of the landscape um, and the international conference that we're focusing on will happen on the 18th of September, uh, which is a Saturday. And there's going to be um, a uh, an online um, seminar uh, that, that is in the morning and the afternoon with a break for lunch. Um, there's a very stellar lineup. So we have Nigel Dunnett, who um, has has designed the piazza in Bergamo, um, and, and we'll see some images of that. Um, and Mario is going to show us some past images because every year Piazza Vecchia um, gets uh, transformed into a, an extraordinary garden for the month of September. Um, and this year, Nigel is the designer. But the other speakers are Sarah Price, um, Michael McCall who we have had on here uh, on the uh, Garden Masterclass, Michael from Australia, um, Midori Shintani from um, the um, from Japan, from the Millennium Forest. Again, we've we've had um, a talk with Midori, uh, Dan Pearson as well. Um, the there are a couple of people who I'm not so familiar with, and maybe uh, Mario might uh, tell me a little bit more about. We have a Mexican architect yeah called uh, uh, Lulio Gaeta um, and then we have uh, an American landscape architect called Nicole Shannon from Gustafson Guthrie Nicole practice which is a huge practice in America that very well known landscape architect practice um, so that's the lineup of speakers which is really quite exciting um, so all of you watching can access this online on Saturday, the 18th of September. Um, those of you that are members of Garden Masterclass, if you go into the members pages, then there's a special offer um, and a discount offer on um, uh, ticket price for the event. Um, if you're not a member, you go through the website, the, um, the I Maestri del Paisaggio website, and that link is in our chat box. So that's how you find out more about it. So. It is exciting um, and um, there will be live events happening there in Italy, but obviously for all of us non-Italians, we have to do this long distance. So, you know, that's the way it is. Anyway, um, so welcome Mario and welcome Mauro. Um, we all have to say a joint huge congratulations to Mauro. He's just become a father eight days ago. He has a little son called Pietro. Um, and a little son, a beautiful boy, and I'm very sad that I can't be there to see him. So um, hopefully he won't be too old before I actually get to meet him. Anyway, um, Mario, can we can we start with you um, giving us maybe a little bit of background about 
previous years um, and also I think you might talk to us a little bit about this there's a slightly new structure to the to the committee uh, of people now and at our Ketipos who run this event so would you like to tell us a little bit more about that? Yes um, uh, good evening everybody and thank you very much for this invitation and thank you Annie for your warm words you are um, always a passionate with uh, Maestri Paesaggio. You know very well Bergamo because I remember you, you, you visited us uh, since the first edition, I think. Absolutely, yeah, every year. <laughs> I, I was younger. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in, it's, uh, I think it's an extra, uh, the history of Archetypos, this uh, uh, cultural association of uh, volunteers, uh, um, some friends uh, 11 years ago decided to organize uh, for the first time in our city an international conference uh, about landscape. And we decided to invite uh, the most interesting uh, landscape designer, even plant designer, even garden designers. Um, so in the, during the years we understood but there is not only the profession of uh, landscape design but also there is the land, uh, garden design and uh, plant design the different skills of uh, this fantastic and uh, world of, uh, of gardening and landscape and and we saw that uh, around the Europe and the world, the, the, there wasn't this kind of idea because generally in every country organized, uh, of course, many conferences about the landscape, but generally um, every country preferred to invite only people from his country. So we tried. And uh, during this, uh, um, and uh, during the first event, uh, there was an intuition of uh, a vice mayor of our city to uh, show something uh, in the our uh, heart historical heart of our uh, ancient city and uh, so to transform uh, our symbolic heart piazza vecchia in uh, in in with the green installation so we would like to uh, to create this uh, uh, extraordinary contrast uh, between the gravity of the stones uh, uh, that they, not, they don't change uh, since uh, 1000 uh, years ago and the completely changing of the in green installation so something something this contrast and uh, so i we uh, i try to show uh, to share the okay uh, sorry <clears throat> are you okay mario okay yeah Okay, you yep. can, I try to share. Yeah, okay. 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 You can see? Can you see? Yes, yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. So this, uh, in reality, we started in 2011, uh, uh, but in 2011, but we, we have only the photograph only from 2012. And um, it would be interesting to see uh, Piazza Vecchia before the green installation is completely different because there is um, uh, uh, the floor is like this one in uh, 2016 with uh, some with, with uh, this geometrical uh, floor. And um, the first free edition, the designer was uh, homemade because we were uh, at, the, at the beginning, so we we have no the the, the strongest to 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 call uh, for uh, international landscape designer, and every year we the we decide the uh, focus and, and I will explain after in details. And from, you can see that how is different this um, this uh, collage of the installations. In the first year in 2011, uh, and uh, the focus was the cultivated landscape. And uh, we had this intuition to allow to the people to lie down on the square, uh, be, thanks to this uh, green carpet. Of course, it is a, an artificial artificial carpet because uh, you can imagine two thousand, uh, two hundred fifty thousand people uh, after two days of uh, walking on uh, the grass. It will be not the grass, so we decide to. Uh, to, to use um, to walk to cover the, the floor this artificial carpet but people can lie down generally it's forbidden to lie down in the square but in this occasion it is possible and uh, 
you can see, you can live the public space in completely, completely uh, different way. Not even, not, not only, but we understood after uh, that uh, the green installation non, not only trans it transforms the, the, the idea uh, and the imagine of the public space, of space, but also it transforms the use of the public space. Uh, space. And the, the following year, in 2012, uh, the focus was uh, urban kitchen gardens. So we, we put some uh, vegetables in the square. It was uh, a little scandal in the, in, uh, all the old citizens that live uh, in this, uh, in, uh, in Hyde City, Citalta. It is the name of the old, old city uh, created on, on the hills, uh, on the hills. And uh, for, for the four years, um, the focus was fill the water and it has been inspired of the landscape of uh, Pianura Padana. Pianura Padana is the most um, bigger plain in Italy, uh, created by the river Po, it's our uh, longest river, more than 600 kilometers. And uh, in this case, the water uh, drawings, designs the landscape. So we, we try to repropose um, the geometrical forms, the shapes of our landscape. And this red ribbon, uh, it's ideal track inside the, the, um, the old square. And in 2014, uh, we changed completely the way to approach the project. Uh, we uh, started to call international landscape. The first landscape designer that the, we, uh, we researched was, uh, um, we have a hound and decided for this uh, installation. Uh, you have uh, the English uh, Peter Fink. Uh, Peter Fink reinterpreted, reinterpreted completely in, uh, in his uh, own uh, vision um, the, 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 the space of Piazza Vecchia with, uh, by introducing this typical uh, strong colors. And uh, um, near to this, the focus was healing landscape. So Mauro in his nursery, maybe um, uh, cultivated more than 10,000 plants of uh, uh, healing plants. And uh, the day after, you know, you know very well, uh, Andy Sturgeon, and is also one of the great friends of Master Paisaggio together to Annie, together to Peter Fink. Uh, uh, and he completely changed the, the colors of the, 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 the square and the, the focus was feeding landscape. It was the same year of um, Expo, International Expo in Milano. Uh, the focus was feed the planet. And uh, Andy, uh, the intuition of Andy was to repropose um, the landscape uh, in the old tradition when uh, the, far, uh, the farmers uh, um, get uh, burned the, the, the soil to improve, uh, the, to improve uh, the future cultivations. So um, Andy uh, covered the, the, the floor of the Piazza Vecchia with, uh, with this uh, green uh, carpet. And uh, I'm sure that uh, it was very difficult to convince the public administration and also the supervisor of the monuments, because you can imagine the supervisor of monuments in this case. But uh, at the end, they was very, I, th I think, but they was very happy. And in the following years, uh, Stefan Tisch from Germany reinterpreted completely, completely um, the landscape of our province. You know, the province of Bergamo is very little because it's only two, three thousand kilometers square. But in our province, you can find uh, the complexity of the number of the same number of the um, kind of vegetation that you can find it in all Scandinavian peninsula with, uh, of course, with a larger uh, surface, because you can find the, the, um, the vegetation of the Alps, so extreme, uh, extreme climate in uh, 
absolutely cold, and also Mediterranean uh, landscape because in our province there are lakes and lakes. Uh, uh, so they, they can have during winter a climate um, warm. Exactly during this year, uh, the great uh, artist uh, Christo, uh, unfortunately uh, he dies uh, last year, uh, decided to organize, uh, not tried, uh, he, he, he has got the opportunity, uh, finally after 20 years, uh, to, to create the installation of floating piers. He tried to create in, in Argentina, maybe in Australia, maybe in Osaka, in Japan, but the administration say, say, said uh, uh, always no. But in province of Bergamo and province uh, of Brescia, uh, we have uh, we share the Iseo Lake. Uh, Christo uh, did uh, the famous installation uh, before uh, today, uh, floating pills maybe one million and a half visitors in 15 days. So in the same period, Stefan Tischer repeated this uh, peers, not floating, but yes, floating in the ideal uh, volume uh, of the Piazza Vecchia, showing the four or five typical different uh, vegetation landscape of the province of Bergamo. Mm. Uh, the, mm, the year following, um, Ludwig Bayon uh, from Amsterdam, Dutch, uh, Hollandese, uh, the, the cool landscape, a conceptual installation, mm, not, so much, not much green, but uh, he wanted to talk about, of course, um, the, the climate um, global warming with uh, this uh, enormous cube of ice. Uh, that is start to to smell smelt uh, to melt to melt to melt, to melt. melt. yeah oh, well, thank you Annie <laughs> uh, so uh, we was very worthy because uh, we thought that yes September Bergamo is uh, is uh, is warm but not so warm to to allow to melt uh, enormous cube uh, mm, uh, many trucks arriving in the old city to to transport this uh, uh, this is cube is made from maybe three hundred uh, different uh, um, cubes of uh, of the ice, but uh, after three after three days, it was uh, uh, melt like this. So, uh, and in the last two three days, it was completely uh, disappeared. So, the, the this is the, the, the real uh, the global warming uh, really exists. <laughs> After the day after the years after, uh, you know very well, Pitaudolf, um, a completely green plant installation. Uh, maybe Pitaudolf, it was the first time that he tried to um, to work uh, really in a really old uh, context. And then two years ago, uh, Luciano Jubile, the pioneer landscape. Uh, it, <laughs> So the, 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 the plants that uh, um, re-keep uh, the, the, the space, the space. And uh, uh, also here, the, the organization was really very difficult because uh, around the old city, there are ancient walls, uh, only three doors, three ancient doors. And it's not so easy to, to, to let to enter this big tree, but uh, we carried it during the winter. Uh, without leaves uh, and uh, in uh, in the summer so we, we can uh, put in Piazza Vecchia. And last year, um, uh, you know, uh, um, it, it has happened uh, a disaster. So Bergamo, it has been the first uh, epicenter of uh, to when uh, coronavirus arrived from China. And uh, we were completely shocked. We, uh, we lost uh, more than 6,000 um, person in the first two months. Uh, so uh, we decided not to stop completely our, um, our event, but uh, to, it, was, it has been an extraordinary uh, edition without public, but uh, so very important not landscape designer, but a designer from Milan, Michele De Luppi, 
decided to, to, to help us. And uh, he created this idea of tables. You know, tables is a, a symbolic image of Italian because we, we love to stay at the table together and to share the food, to share the drink, to share the, the, friend, uh, the friends. So um, uh, um, this table we sold during uh, the 20 days of installation. And uh, with the money, we create uh, around our hospital a garden just for medicines, doctors, uh, nurses, uh, to allow them uh, during pause, during, uh, during relax, uh, to lie down with uh, on chairs uh, and uh, to, to read something. And they really, they appreciate it, appreciate it a lot because we, has, uh, we have called our doctors our heroes, uh, because many doctors also in the first day when uh, they the scientific international community, community didn't know what they had to do to, 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 to fight against the, 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 the coronavirus in this case. So many, many doctors, many nurses died. So, um, and this year, and so Mauro is the, um, you, you know, this is our short uh, history, but in reality, during the, these 20 days, a lot of events, a lot of, um, uh, all, uh, all happens in, during, uh, uh, because our city is um, open in sitting room, so you can pass from a bar to a restaurant to a coffee in the, in the square. You, during these uh, days, uh, every people uh, meet uh, to each other uh, many times of the year, so, uh, uh, many times uh, every day. So, Maurice, you want to talk, to explain about uh, the project this year, and then I can yeah. finish with uh, a new entry of uh, this year in, in the program. Mario, do you need to unshare the screen? Are we continuing? Yes. If yes. you could unshare, okay. that would be okay. good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and I think I think what's very obvious from those images of the past years is that um, every every year the piazza is transformed into a garden, but it's but it's always a very contemporary interpretation of the theme uh, for that year. Uh, so you have this extraordinary medieval very small, almost like a village, which is Chita Alta, which sits above the modern city below. And this is transformed. Uh, and there are also other little pockets of green and gardens and interventions that happen around the around Chita Alta. Um, but, but there's this wonderful um, contrast between contemporary landscape and beautiful medieval um, city. So that that's so wonderful. Um, so the, what is the, um, Mario? What is the theme this year? Il tema this year is what? Yes, uh, the, 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 the theme is uh, we have called from nature to nature. From nature. <laughs> okay. From, uh, sorry, could you say that again? From nature to nature. To nature. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, it has been an idea from Mauro by Mauro and, uh, and Mauro suggest us to, uh, to invite uh, Nigel Dunman because in reality the, um, the, the landscape design for this year uh, we chose uh, two years ago it's not landscape design because uh, it, it, he can do land, urban landscape without lands and it is Martin Ray Cano is very famous for his uh, um, transformation urban landscape uh, maybe in Copenhagen in Germany but um, Mauro can explain uh, why this year we, we, we change it completely and uh, Marti Recano will be in Bergamo in the next edition. So. Okay, okay. So I'll just reintroduce um, Mauro. Mauro Crescini, um, again, we've, we've met before several times um, on Garden Masterclass. Mauro is actually in Brescia, which is um, a little way away from, um, from Bergamo. And his, he and his family own an extraordinary nursery called Valfreda, uh, which is a big nursery that specializes in grasses, and herbaceous plants, but grasses are really, ornamental grasses are really um, the thing. Um, and I would say probably the largest nursery selling grasses in Italy. Am I right, Mauro? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so so welcome, Maro. And if you can stay awake long enough to tell us about uh, this year yeah. <laughs> without falling asleep. Um, so um, yeah, so you're supplying the plants for for Nigel's Square. Yeah, yeah, we we are part of the, the association from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So we sharing with them uh, our idea, our vision. Uh, my part is uh, one of the the, the person of the council, but. Uh, the idea of uh, this year, of 2021, is uh, to change the Martin Rincano project because the uh, Martin Rincano project was a uh, social landscape. And the first idea of the project was to create very contact with person. In fact, we, we study in, at the end of 2019 before the pandemic situation. And so uh, we think it was not uh, 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 correct to develop this year because we are not uh, free, unfortunately, completely free to, to, to share together this fantastic experience, life experience. And uh, my thing is uh, during the, the last month of pandemic, of uh, the first uh, problem of pandemic situation was, uh, uh, what happened if we come back to Bergamo and we see what happened during these six, seven, eight months where we are closing the house? What happened to the nature? What is our relationship with nature again? And uh, in fact, during that month, we see, I don't know, in Venice, for example, have the fish or uh, animal come to the mountain, to the city, because uh, we don't push uh, the nature out of our life, but we can live our life and the nature arrive again. And uh, so I try to think what happened if we go out and we see this nature, how is our relationship like a human being? Uh, we, we take it out or we try to live together, we have fear, or we want to go in contact, how NATO could help us to uh, re restart uh, with uh, a correct um, sensibility, uh, attention to the other, to the nature. And uh, three years ago, during the pit uh, event, during the Green Square of Pit, we are with Nigel in the Green Square because we organized some seminar during the, the, this event. And we're talking, I know it was fantastic. I like uh, how develop this, uh, how you choose the, the person. I would like to participate uh, in a year. And so when I touch this, uh, this subject, I think that Nigel was the perfect person to develop the idea and the project. And so we, we proposed this to the, to the council. And I said, we tried to, to ask to Nigel. He was very, very full, but he uh, was very excited to, to participate. And uh, so we are really happy, both me, the council, him. And uh, so the project start uh, from there. If, uh, if you want, I can share just a couple of layout that he sent us in the last days. Yeah, that would be good. Let's have a look. Uh, let me take it. Just a second, okay. I have just a couple. This is the first one. Okay. Uh, you tell me that is in, you see the my DVD, my sharing? Only, it's only very small, I can see, but you need to make the image larger. So we're seeing the whole of the uh, collection of photographs, yeah. Let me see, put again, and sharing. Second, open up icon. You see that a bit better? No, at the moment it's still a, a, a gray screen, so I, we don't I see think, the. Yeah, I think my. My internet is not fantastic here where I am. Okay, I tried to explain something. Mario tell me that is uh, download the, the, the picture. So we, we try to wait a second, maybe. And um, with Nigel, uh, I send our uh, list of production and we try to create uh, um, a prior that uh, uh, go around the city and uh, create uh, uh, singular social room, but uh, this social uh, space uh, has cover to the flora all around. 
so the person could go around the, the green square with the um, special uh, social oval where they can uh, uh, share their experience, but at the same time, they have a space together with each other and uh, uh, with different other uh, space of the green square. So um, the idea is uh, to create a, a small area where the person could enjoy their time. But at the same time, the other person could go around and uh, have their own space. And the, the restaurant is in globe uh, of, uh, with, the, with this prior. And uh, this program is different, it's not the same all part, but uh, uh, we change color uh, all around. So uh, almost in all so, so oval social, uh, there's something different. So we have uh, uh, um, an imaging of uh, only one prayer, but when we go inside, uh, discover new form, new color, and uh, we will use uh, yellow, for example, with some rudecchias, we choose uh, some rudecchias uh, um, from uh, northeast of the United States, like uh, rudecchia missouriensis or rudecchia fujida de hami, together with uh, something higher, like um, uh, rudecchia subtomentosa henry ehlers or uh, rudecchia nitida erdson, so something higher and something lower. Uh, with the, the violet of verbena bonariensis, some anemones, white and then pink, uh, some peroskias and some gauras uh, and some other that we add at the end. But uh, the idea is just to, to go inside of different color, pink, uh, um, violet, uh, blue, and yellow. And uh, another interesting thing is that Nigel think. I don't right. know if they, they yeah. Um, fortunately, we can see uh, the schema is sempre nero. Okay. I, I yes. try to stop it. I, I have a problem with uh, my, I'm not at uh, the, uh, the office or my home, so I have a problem with the internet. With the okay. American. Yeah. But uh, on, on the website, on uh, I Maestri del Paisaggio website, there is there are images of the square, of the, the square, the, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we put this soon. And uh, another interesting thing is that we do with uh, this is an agile idea is to create uh, some healing with the palette, with the, the wood palette. And uh, this is, I think, will be fantastic. And uh, we send some picture to, to him in the last day. He was very excited because uh, uh, we designed a green square with Pete. It was a fantastic uh, project and fantastic. Uh, we are really happy about what we did and Pete too, I, I remember. But at the same time, this idea is create something more movement around the, the green square, not so flat. Yes, for sure, you can use a different volume of plant because uh, the nursery, we grow plants uh, in uh, normal pots, but we have uh, specific plants in very bigger pots. So you see, especially grasses, uh, in, uh, almost in all uh, their uh, volume. No? So like Miscanthus or Panicum, arrive to two meter, two meter and out. So you can create uh, different space and volume. But this idea to create this hilly, uh, with this palette and cover, maybe not all. There is not. We have no fear to 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 show a part of the palette mm -hmm. because it's part of the installation and uh, is fine. We we decide at the end during the when we make the, the green square if we want to cover everything or not or something yes and something not. But uh, like uh, with Luciano Jubilee, for example, we we decide to don't cover the the pot. Mm -hmm. So. It, we have no fear to, it's an installation, so it's a part of the installation. Yeah. But this idea to create different uh, level of this hilly mountain, uh, mm -hmm. create a, a different relationship with space. So I'm really curious to see in the green square because we see in, uh, we, we make some experimentation in, in the nursery, but we don't have uh, the architectural of the square. But I'm sure we arrived to three, two meter, two meter and half. So we'll be low and dive, and I'm sure will be an amazing project. Um, I'm really happy about plants because at uh, the moment we talked with Nigel yesterday, we have uh, other possibility to add that uh, we don't uh, study at the beginning. 
-hmm. but uh, what happened when we 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 grow for the plan for the square? Mm -hmm. We have a plan from February, March, January it depends. Better is November, December, but generally we are in January, February with uh, Nigel later. So we start for what we we grow generally, and we have something more. And uh, we we try to follow the plan up. Uh, at the same time, with our experience, we try to develop different plan B because maybe something happened with uh, some varieties uh, and we have to find different solution. And so maybe we can cut something, uh, we can fertilize later, we can plant later. For example, uh, we choose in this event uh, Agastache blue boa and uh, Origanum levigatum rosenkupel that if I grow normally, we have in full bloom in June, at end of June, beginning of July, and we don't use in, uh, in Green Square. Mm -hmm. I try, for example, Oregano with the Luciano Jubilee, but uh, we discovered that it was not good. So we plant later. So the, the our challenge is not go too, too ahead, not to be too behind, mm -hmm. and stay always in the middle. Something go ahead, something is a little bit in late, and uh, arrive uh, more close to everything in bloom because yeah. uh, there's a relationship between grasses and flower yeah. and uh, grasses is not a problem because we have bigger pot easy to grow and not a problem is not perfect uh, the the plumes but the flowers need to be ready for that time mm -hmm. and uh, i think we'll be ready and the weather will help us because generally june and july july august is very hot month in the north of italy too and this is one of the challenge, but generally at the end of August, uh, arrived the first rain and the change the vision of the nursery. At the same time, we, we change our irrigation system in this year so we can uh, watering better. And, um, and the weather this year is uh, more rainy and cloudy and this is really helpful for yeah. sure. And um, Mara, when when do you actually construct the square? So when will the square be ready and complete for people to see? We start the 30th of August mm -hmm. and we have to finish uh, at 8th of September. Okay. So eight or nine days. We have uh, two guard, professional gardener team. We have uh, some professional that uh, as a volunteer and the students that, uh, that help us, students of the, the school of Bergamo for this year. Mm -hmm. In the past, until uh, 2019, we involved uh, international students uh, from Dixar, for example, from uh, Russia, from Sweden, just because uh, our idea is always uh, to be an association of um, that promote the cultural a meeting between the culture, uh, country, for the same passion that is uh, gardening and landscape. Yeah. In fact, I just uh, add the one thing of the beautiful presentation of Mario. We see all the green square, but every year uh, the subject that uh, we develop uh, in um, there's an international meeting always so because we are always involved to talk about the green square because. Uh, the green square is the signal that we left to this common citizen because from the first edition was uh, okay we talk about landscape gardening inside four walls from profession and no one knew that mm -hmm. from the first edition we start with the green square and now everyone is obviously involved uh, what happened in the green square but uh, on the side, on the, in the on the right side, there's uh, this uh, meeting that out to met person. So bar restaurant is mm -hmm. part of to continue what uh, we we are go out from the seminar and we continue and we met another person, and so this we we hope really much to start again, and the idea to to make event this year was very strong in us to continue because stop another an event like this for two years is difficult to restart so yeah. the idea to make uh, the green square was an important signal uh, the idea to don't to be in person of international meeting i think is correct because there's too much restriction so if i have to make five days of quarantine when i come four days when i come back three days i can stay in contact uh, is something that 
obviously I don't like, we don't like, yeah. but uh, yeah. we hope so in the deep of our air to, to come back next year. And, yeah, uh, yeah. So just to be clear, so if people are in mainland Europe um, and they can travel to Italy, they can come and see the square. They can, they can, uh, they can, you know, they can enjoy the square and other things that are happening in Bergamo. Um, from from about the eighth of September, the square will be finished. Is that right? About the eighth yeah. of September. Okay. And also, there's going to be an exhibition about Nigel's work um, in in um, around the square in in Città Alta, so people could see that. Yeah. The, the conference or the meeting uh, that you're having on the 18th, I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, that there's an invited audience of about a hundred people who who are journalists and and so on. Um, so you know, anybody who wants to hear the speakers and and hear and hear the conference that has to be done online um that's correct yeah. yeah and so yeah and so anybody as i said before anyone who's a, a member of garden masterclass you could uh, uh go to the member site the member page and you get a discounted uh, ticket for the conference if you're not a member then you go to the e maestri del paisaggio um uh website and then you can download a ticket as well um so that's that's the way to to, to hear and that's on the 18th of September. Um, so yeah, and the the, um, the the exhibition that is about Nigel's work, um, could you just talk a little bit about what that's going to contain? Yes. And how, how the form that that's going to take? Uh, yes, uh, the exhibition is uh, a news uh, uh, of the year because it's the first you, you we realize the fact that uh, every year comes to Bergamo such important uh, landscape designer you know, only the the, when you, the people who works in gardening uh, uh, knows, but uh, the majority, the most of the people of the city uh, doesn't know that uh, such an important person arrived in our city, so we decided to organize. I think it is one of the first time that in Italy we organized uh, exhibition for uh, with uh, with the uh, landscapers and is it uh, is it common common in in, uh, in England that you often organize the uh, exhibition. Uh, yeah, I mean, in, in, yeah, there are exhibitions of um, of landscape work occasionally, um, but I mean, not not that common to focus on one person necessarily. But I suppose because we have the garden shows, you know, uh, then then you see you see a lot of people's. Um, work as in in a sort of show garden format but for some for sort of retrospective of somebody's work that's not so usual really maybe, maybe yeah. i was at and weird with pete i remember that maybe yeah 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 i think that was exceptional yes yeah yeah exactly exactly so so i've just put again in the chat box um the uh, website for if anybody's interested and you can also look back at past events and things as well um i don't know is there any other information that people will need to know mario or is that is, do you think we've covered everything i think uh, yes you can you can find all the um, information that you need on um, on on the website, on, 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 on website. Um, I think if uh, if uh, uh, registration will be <laughs> less, uh, you can normally visit our city yeah. and also enjoy the installation. On uh, so I know that something's changing at the end of July because um, the law uh, has a, this deadline at the moment. So we have to uh, uh, wait uh, tomorrow after tomorrow to know if. Uh, uh, something better will be. Okay. Uh, here, situation now is in, is quite. Uh, I hope I'm optimist, but uh, but yeah. we, we don't know exactly. And if if people can't make it on the 18th of September, will the conference be recorded so that they can watch a recording of the um, conference? Will that be available? I. And we are not designed yet, decided yet to record at the moment um, because it, it is the, our uh, first time that we organize on such important uh, online event because uh, um, the site, uh, it, it will be the same site, uh, uh, i.e. Uh, the, 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 the historical theater in, in, in Città Alta. 
unfortunately it will be empty only yes 100 people but including organizers the journalists the authorities may so practically oh. no no audience and um, well, we can imagine that the audience will be more because we can reach out the world and yeah. um, maybe sure we uh, sure also the uh, simultaneous translation will be better because uh, with uh, our in international uh, even in russian they can arrange uh, in advance so i think that the quality of the translation will be better mm -hmm. so for this fact we can think to 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 mm -hmm. to, 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 to record all the events I, I will i will add one thing sir, and uh, about the different speakers because mm -hmm. before we have a one day of only one meeting so the schedule time is from uh, Mexico to Japan. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, someone uh, has the, may take the decision to uh, make a presentation and uh, after um, show a video. So he prepare his video and he open and he close his speaking right. because uh, we decide to make uh, this event uh, from uh, from the theater for make another signal. Oh, right. OK. And, yeah. and uh, this is important for us because we don't want to stay in different room, but make uh, uh, a flag. OK, yeah. Uh, yeah. So where there is uh, something of interactive of okay. the question from the journalist and uh, but someone like um, probably Michael McCoy. Mm -hmm. uh, bring us a, an interesting idea to make an introduction, make a, a conclusion, but have a video inside because he present us this problem, this possibility that he had in the past to have a problem like me before with the uh, internet, with web. Mm -hmm. And so to have the perfect um, solution for, uh, for the audience, probably some speakers make this. So we probably, we we record it. We, we are studying the best solution, and uh, because obviously it's a possibilities, and uh, we have to to you to, to to use these possibilities. But we don't take last decision. But I'm sure that we, we will do all. Yeah. That okay. okay. I mean, the reason I ask is purely personal because on the 18th of September I'm going to be judging at Chelsea Flower Show, so I can't watch it live. So we record it. So yeah, so you have to record it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's an order. <laughs> yeah, okay. Brilliant. Okay. Well, we will do just for you. Thank you are special for us, you know, no? Grazie mille. Grazie mille. Okay, so thank you both so much. And um, I can't believe it's year number two that we won't be all together in Bergamo. That's so sad. But, you know, we have to think about next year. But also you are you are creating something this year, which is really exciting. So good luck. Bocca da, lu da, luco, da, da lupo for you all. Um, and um, yeah, we look forward to seeing the square. Um, I, I know you always produce a really beautiful film of the build up of the square and it coming together. So we look forward to seeing that. And uh, maybe we can show that, you know, in the autumn um, on uh, Master Garden Masterclass one Thursday evening to show people who, to be sort of an interactive film to see what the square looks like. So hopefully we'll see that. But thank you very much for, for telling us what's going to happen. Good luck. And um, we hope we can get you lots of uh, digital visitors. Yes, yes. So everybody, uh, if you're not a member of Garden Masterclass, you need to be. And then you, you get special you sign up. Special discounts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Adam Press said he's already booked. There you go. Perfect. That's what we like. That's wonderful. OK, well, listen, um, buona sera and thank you very much. And um, much. congratulations again, Mauro. And well done for staying awake for an hour. That's brilliant. Um, and if and if anyone, you know, for next year, if you're, you know, want to get over to Bergamo, I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's the most it's like being in heaven, everybody. That's all I can say. <laughs> Okay. 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 So goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody, and see yeah, you all thank soon. You. Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Thank you, you very much. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.